my name is Darlene Mega Chalian. My first modeling experience was in fifth grade, and I started modeling again in freshman year, sophomore year. And today I am shooting with James Berry with his Canon 5D Mark IV. Thank you for the introduction, Darlene. Remember, um, Guam Photography Channel is primarily focusing on portraiture. And so we want to look at the 5D Mark IV for portraits and who is this camera for? Who should upgrade to this camera? And who should switch over to this uh, new, newly released Canon 5D Mark IV? I know there have been some Canon users that have switched to Nikon and maybe even Sony. And this camera may make them switch back to Canon. All right, let's start shooting. One, two, and three. I noticed the shutter sound of the Canon 5D Mark IV is very quiet. So this is the regular shutter sound. You can hear it. And when I set it to silent, it is very silent. Here's the silent shutter sound. Hear that? Very quiet. good for weddings, uh, good for um, events that you don't want to cause a lot of noise in. Um, there are some photographers that shoot funerals and this is a good camera to use for that, but especially for weddings. So this is the live view with the new dual pixel architecture. Uh, you notice it's tracking Darlene's face right now. Uh, you can tap to focus on her face, focus on her here, or her reflection on the mirror. And if you turn this on, the touch shutter enable, focus on her face, and once it's in focus, it'll take a picture. And you're using the sensor to focus, so at the images at 1.2, we're using the 85 1.2, it'll be very sharp. And uh, for playback, you can of course touch screen to swipe, zoom in, pinch to zoom in. You can uh, double tap and the menus are all touch. So I'm pressing this button on a new Canon 5D Mark IV and this button is new, it's not found in the other uh, older versions of the 5D series. It is above the wheel and you can change your focus grouping as you can see right now. The 5D Mark IV feels very, very good in the hands. It has a deep front grip here. And this 85 1.2 is very heavy, heavy, but it feels uh, balanced. And the top part where the Canon uh, word here is, is a hard plastic. And the rest of the body is magnesium alloy. But the, this is for good reason. This is for the NFC, Wi-Fi, and GPS. And memory cards, you have standard SD and compact flash. And overall, this is a very solid uh, feeling body. Okay, we're gonna start doing 4K video. One, two, and three. Okay, so Darlene is posing and she's moving. Film about 15 seconds and then we'll do the uh, frame grab. Okay, very good, stopping. Okay, so the, the way it works is um, you're playing the video, 
and you can choose any frame you want and you tap this button right here and press OK um, for you strike the still image and this is the actual still, still image right here so it's a 8.8 .8 megapixel uh, JPEG and you can even use it um, as your final image if you want to edit it uh, this is DCI 4K and it goes up to 4K at 30 frames per second but it has a 1.74 crop factor and it shoots in motion JPEG and a lot of people don't like that that takes up a lot of space We have wrapped up our photo shoot. We have been shooting for about an hour and a half. And well, I'm pretty tired. And Darlene, I think, are you tired? No, not really. Not really, I think she wants to still shoot some more. But <laughs> special thanks to John Bobbin, another Guam photographer for lending me his 5D Mark IV. And I'm gonna try to put a link in the description below for his work. He does mostly maternity shoots and weddings. And as I can see, the 5D Mark IV does have a great sensor uh, for a Canon. It has great dynamic range, again, for a Canon. The dynamic range on this is similar to a Nikon D4 that came out in 2012. So Canon has finally caught up. And I think, uh, and it's a pretty expensive camera, $3,500. Those that do have the 5D Mark II and 5D Mark III, if they do have the money, um, I would recommend, of course, upgrading to the 5D Mark IV. Again, it is very expensive. Uh, those that left Canon to go to Nikon for the dynamic range, they may want to come back to Canon if they love the lenses and want the same dynamic range as found in like the D4, for example. Darling, how did you like the photo shoot today? I had fun today. This is a really good camera. It's pretty heavy too. I mean, actually the lens, the lens is pretty heavy. Um, so when I was using the live view and tapping to take the shot, uh, my arms started to get tired a little bit. I don't know, maybe it's because I've been using mirrorless cameras for about a year. Um, but as I can see, great white balance, uh, great photos, and um, you should have seen some of the edited photos uh, during the video. Thanks for watching.